My name is Sharona Bianca Knight, uh, aka She Be Cool, and um, I'm from London Town. At the moment, the music I'm doing right now is uh, I've got a drum and bass tune out with a guy called Ilmatica and Mr. Joseph, and Kamaya Lissette and myself called Already Know You. Uh, it's out right now and uh, it's signed to V Recordings. Uh, love it. It's kind of like a jazz fusion stroke uh, drum and bass kind of feel. It's like liquid D&B as they call it. But my main love is soul and R&B. I'm not going to lie, I love a bit of neo soul, soul, R&B, hip hop. That's my, that's my, my music, that's my genres. Um, when I first started writing, uh, I didn't really kind of know what I was trying to achieve. 
my brother kind of put me in touch with this guy called Eric Robeson. He just, I just listened to his stuff and it was kind of like folk, neo soul. It wasn't that straightforward kind of Jill Scott, Erica Badu stuff, which I'm still influenced by them as well. But it was that folky kind of neo soul, that storytelling neo soul. And I really loved that side of it. So in terms of my main influence to start writing, it would be Eric Robeson. In terms of who I've always listened to and who I love, Stevie Wonder, Minnie Ripperton. She actually made me want to sing. That first song, Loving You, just made me want to sing. That high trill, can't do it. But, um, and uh, the Jill Scotts, the Mary J. Blige's, Lauren Hills. Uh, yeah, and I love, and you know who I used to love the most? Jodeci, oh my God, Jodeci. Uh, just the best R&B group in the whole entire world. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna pretend that it's been all flowers and bloom, but I've come out the other end and I feel like what I've done is I've self-healed. I've spoken to people who have helped me heal. And literally I've had to pick myself back up. And in the midst of that, I went, damn, I need to get back on doing the music thing and doing my own stuff, not just featured vocals, but just putting out my own songwriting and putting out my own songs. And that's how we are here today. So although the first half of uh, the year was a crash course from June, literally at the six month line, it's been interesting. It's been good, it's been good, it's been good. Yeah, so I'm hoping the rest of 2020 is gonna be like that. And what I would say to anybody that goes into this business is find yourself a really good music lawyer. <laughs> Someone who you can trust. Um, recognize that you are um, both um, a commodity and you are also an asset to people. So in that, you have to really kind of temper both sides. You need to play the game. Sometimes you have to be harsh. And sometimes you have to be real kind of smooth and you have to get along. And I think a music lawyer, um, somebody in your ear who's really going to like understand the music business, um, a friend that can give you advice about contracts and stuff like that. Those things are important. Everything else is fun time free. But when it comes to the business, know your music business. And if you can be independent before you get signed and you can have an audience before you get signed, trust me, it stands you in better stead when you go to that meeting or you talk to them about your record deal.
your girl the things we do Oh no, she don't have to know He don't have to know And oh, boy, I know you're doing the same thing too See, I won't tell your girl that what we do Oh no, he don't have to know she don't have to know hey. My name is Sharona Knight, and you have been watching Peach Fuzz. <laughs> hey guys, this is Ernest from the production team. Can I thank you for all of your support for this channel? Um, it is greatly appreciated. We still want it to grow, so please can you like, subscribe, and tell a friend as well. As you know, Black Pound Day is next week. Um, I would just like to encourage you to possibly look at my website, which is www.ernestsimmons.co.uk, just to look at the array of products there from prints to T-shirts. Thank you very much and have a great week. <laughs>